Okay, we are still reducing or simplifying rational expressions, fractions. We are talking about rational expressions that contain binomials. If you remember from our previous modules, we had a special set of binomials called conjugates. So remember, a conjugate means you have two binomials that have the same terms, you just change the middle symbol. So in your notes, a conjugate would be x plus 7 and x minus 7. They both have the term x. They both have the term 7. You just change the middle symbol. What happens if, when you have your rational expression, you have conjugates? You have in the numerator the x plus 7, and you have in the denominator x minus 7. Okay, let's talk about that. So if you have that expression, x plus 7 over x minus 7, and I say simplify that rational expression. Well, we've learned, first of all, you cannot separate the pieces. You cannot divide the x with the x and the 7 with the 7 because they are not connected by multiplication. So Ms. Black will put the x plus 7 in parentheses and the x minus 7 in parentheses to let me know I can't separate that. Those terms have got to stay together. So then I'm going to use the rules I learned in the previous module. Is x plus 7 and x minus 7 the same expression? No, they're not exactly alike. They both have a positive x, but one 7 in the numerator is positive and the other 7 in the denominator is negative. So they're not exactly alike. So I know I can't reduce that divide and then make a 1. So the next question you want to ask yourself is x plus 7 over x minus 7 additive inverses opposites of each other. Well, no, that's not true either. Because if you look, both x's are positive. The x's are the same. The 7's are opposites. Well, to be an additive inverse, all the terms have to be opposites. So those are not opposites. We clearly know the definition for that are conjugates. And here comes a rule. There's nothing you can do to reduce a conjugate. A conjugate is in lowest terms. You cannot divide that or make it any smaller. And that's what you got to start practicing. If I give you a binomial over a binomial, and you know those binomials are conjugates, that's it, the fraction's in lowest terms. Now you're going to say, wait a minute, I thought I can always reduce a fraction. Well, no, think back to arithmetic. If I had the fraction 2 thirds, and I said, okay, guys, reduce it in lowest terms, what are the factors of 2? 1 and 2. What are the factors of 3? 1 and 3. The only factor they have in common is a 1. And 2 thirds divided by 1 will stay 2 thirds. We all know the fraction 2 thirds is already in lowest terms. It's as low as it can go. So be careful when we're dealing with rational expressions. When we're dealing with algebraic fractions, if you have conjugates, you cannot reduce them. They're as low as they can go. All right, we're going to apply this fact in our next module. See you then.